Hello cellist, this is your practice video for minuet number one. It's the third piece in Suzuki Book 2. If you haven't seen the previews video, you'll need to check that out because we really go in depth on how to shift into second position. This is our first introduction in the Suzuki repertoire to playing in a position other than first position. So make sure that you've checked that out and done a lot of practicing on it before you advance to this um, video. There are some things besides the shift in this, um, in this piece that we want to introduce to you. In the, in the exposition of the first thing, right, in the first eight measures, we have this rhythm in measure seven. Now, when we hear it again in the recapitulation measure 15, instead of doing this, you get... And it always gives kids a hard time. So just know going into it that... We do it twice um, on the D and G string, and then when we go up to the, the D string, it's not going to be the same, right? So be aware of that going in. Um, I, I think that you're going to be good on this one. Let's give it a try. We're going to take it allegretto, which is slower than a regular allegro. One, two, three. <laughs> They're so common in these minuets. Make sure that you're um, your own best teacher on that. Don't let yourself get away with bad bowings. And then hopefully you're getting comfortable with this second position shift. I think you have to do it um, eight times in this piece. Right? Once you got that, I think you've got it beat. Happy practicing, cellists.